Hey guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work, man. You know, I always like to come outside. Usually, I'm at my fire pit, and uh, you know, doing my fireside chat and things, and. Um, it's always relaxing because I like to reflect on the day to say, did I do as much as I could? Did I work on becoming a better person and a better citizen in the world? Did I do enough to try and make the most of that day? Because I always say that, you know, at the end of this day, this is a day that I can never get back and it's one day less that I have. And when you're young, you don't think about things like that. When you start getting older, you start thinking about your own mortality. And um, I like to use every minute of the day as much as possible. I joke around with people like kid and things and all that. You know, I mess with the Eagle fans, those guys. Um, we kid because we love. These are crazy times right now. And... Um, before I had my fire pit, I would always come out here and sit out here and watch the fishies. You know, you don't want to be sleeping with the fishies. And uh, they've gotten to be active now that the weather's warmed up and uh, swimming around. This is actually the first time that I've fed them this year because they hibernate in the wintertime. But they've been so active. It's literally 78 degrees today and it's going to stay warm. So I'm just going to give them just a taste, just a taste in case it gets cold again. But they're all over there. The food I put in there is washed to the other side, but the light is not real good over there. So some good news. You, you might see a, a fin or so jump up over there. That's just my, my koi. Um, the good news for the Cowboys is we've had a lot of free agents. You know, we've seen some guys get paid, and I ain't mad at people getting paid. I mean, we signed Randall Cobb for five million dollars. He gets $19 million guaranteed. Shout out to that guy. I'm proud of those guys that got paid um, elsewhere. But it does leave holes for us. But I'm thinking that when you look at the 26 guys that we have, I think there's only six right now that don't have jobs, which is amazing. You know, when you think that Jameis Winston right now doesn't have a job, that all of these guys that we had and were producing to the point where other teams want them. It's kind of amazing. And actually kind of makes you realize that, you know, maybe this was a lot of wasted talent with Jason Garrett. But, you know, no point in kicking the guy when he's already been kicked out the door. But um, this is going to be opportunities for other guys to keep a job and possibly make a name for themselves. Um, knowing that we lost Randall Cobb, I think that actually opens up the door for Trayvon Austin to try and stick in there. I'm hearing another helicopter in the background. I got to tell you, um, with all that's going on with this corona, it's like every day around about 3 o'clock, and actually it happened twice today, there's usually like three military helicopters that fly like right over my house. Now, D.C. is that way, Quantico's that way, so I'm assuming that they're going from D.C. or the Pentagon to uh, Quantico, but I've never heard so many helicopters before. I feel like I'm in Compton, you know, one of the movies and stuff with all the helicopters flying over. But I can hear one off in the distance over there. Um, these are crazy times right now. Because every day, it's just, it's something new every day. I mean, it was only eight days ago that we heard about the NBA. You know, the NBA was shutting down. It was like, oh my goodness, the NBA, you know, they got a player that tested positive. And then every day it's more and more. Um, Pennsylvania shut down all non-essential businesses. You know, San Francisco's on lockdown. Los Angeles basically is having, you know, kind of a, in between those two right now, you know, restaurants, bars, movies, all that kind of stuff shut down. 
non-essential things. Mortgage companies sending you emails and saying, you know, if you can't pay your bill, we can do some relief work. I mean, really? That, that's, some, that, that, that's some crazy stuff. I never thought I'd see that kind of thing. Can you see? They're over there grabbing the food. It's, um, it's unnerving to a point where you need something to occupy your mind besides just the news. I'm happy that the NFL has been doing what they've been doing because it gives us something else to focus on. Something else to kind of occupy our mind and, you know, get our juices flowing. What, I'm not an expert on this, I don't know, but I know the best thing you can do is stay strong. You got to make sure that you eat. You got to make sure you get some exercise. You got to make sure you get some air. You got to move around. You can't just sit around waiting for the worst to happen. That's why I'm busting a hump in my house, you know? Cutting the grass, I'm pulling weeds. And the weeds, damn it, they're like eagle trolls. Same color. Because when you do, it makes that time go by quicker. And that's what this thing needs is we need time. Time to figure it out time to get through the worst, time to heal. So back to our Cowboys. With Randall Cobb gone, I think that gives an opportunity for Trayvon Austin to come back. Why do I say Trayvon Austin? I know he's been injured a lot, but see, here's the thing about your fourth wide receiver, is that's a guy that you want to have you can play special teams. You can do kick return. And that's where a lot of people were saying, oh, bring back Dez. He can be your fourth wide receiver. But the problem with that is, Dez is not going to be a special team. And that's what you need with that other wide receiver. Now, the Cowboys ended up bringing back Joe Thomas, you know, linebacker, who's played really well at times for us in spot duty. That's a great guy. He can play special teams and things right there. And Marsh, Marsh, um, they brought him back as well. So, linebacker-wise, Hopefully, Dan Duresh is healed. And, you know, the scary thing right now is is the players can't go to the facilities and work out. Um, you can't work them out and make sure that they're getting treatment or seeing how far along they are. You're going to have to rely on the player to do it on his own. But hopefully, Dan Duresh is healed and he can get back to where he was as a rookie. If not, you've got Joe Thomas, who can play real well, and you also have Sean Lee, who, believe it or not, was second in the team in tackling. So you've got a veteran presence, you've got some guys that have been there, even though we are changing systems, that you feel confident about. We still have a bunch of holes. Make no mistake about it. You know, losing Jeff Heath, you know, I, I've not been the biggest Jeff Heath supporter, but Jeff Heath was serviceable. We are... Um, Gonna need a safety. Gonna need another cornerback. Gonna need help on the defensive line. Might need a receiver. Definitely need a tight end. But with the Cowboys getting players right now in free agency, they may not be the top tier free agent, but they're serviceable players that can be ones you say, okay, I don't have a choice. I'm gonna play this guy. He's not lights out, but they're decent enough. And what that will enable us to do is we've kind of messed up when we had to draft defensive line and we went for Taco. Taco might end up not being a bust, but Taco never showed up for us. Tristan Hill. Tristan Hill may come around this second year. Maybe it was a coaching that didn't work or whatever. But we kind of had to reach for those guys. Where we want to be is we want to look at these areas that are weak. And we want to take the best player available because ultimately when you reach for a guy, 
when you're desperate for a guy, a lot of times what happens is you try and convince yourself that that's the guy that'll do a whole lot more than he really may be capable of. And that's where you get in trouble. So, that's all I got to say about that. I don't know, can you hear the water? Let me move you guys. See? I find just being out here, watching the fish, and listening to the water, that it's very, very relaxing. Puts me in a different mood. Good night, everybody.